time now for your forewarned weather with Chief Meteorologist Alana Brophy. And back here at home, we're going to get to the best part of the newscast yet again, which is Alana out live with her weather forecast at a new spot every time. She's having fun out there, yes, Alana. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Don't you guys hear rocking around the Christmas tree? It's like one of my favorites. Such a banger. I'm, okay, we just talked about that freezing fog in Colorado. And they're like, it makes the forest look magical. I see your fog and I raise you the lights. It's the largest display of lights in Utah. And when do you ever get to run around them? I don't know. It's Christmas. It's December. Are you going nut shopping? Everyone has things to do. I'm just having fun. I can't listen. That's all I do. And this is why they only let me out once in a while. Okay, we have a great meteor shower tonight. The Geminis, if you're gonna be out, mostly clear sky is gonna let the lights at Thanksgiving Point Luminaria shine, and you're gonna get to see that meteor shower. Good news, peak viewing for that, 9 p.m., maybe after 10. Now, we saw pretty clear conditions with sunshine, but different story for the southeastern corner of the state. I'm out of shape. What do you want, guys? I'm just a regular mom. This is the live view from Moab, Grand County, where we've got clouds and temperatures in the low 40s. As we look at the satellite radar, it shows that a few showers have snuck through the Four Corners area, and that's because of that upper level low that was moisture starved. I kept calling it that, and then it gets to the San Juans and is like, surprise, I've got a few showers for you. Cute, real cute. Okay, great start to the day. From Deer Creek Reservoir, Brent Haddock showing us the amazing colors. So you can go to Luminaria at night and see the lights or you can wake up early and catch that sunset at Deer Creek because it's impeccable, so gorgeous. Temperatures tonight are dropping. We were at 43 in Salt Lake, now we're at 40. Live view from the ABC4 studios which is not as festive as where I am. Sorry, guys, don't be jealous. Would have brought you along. Clear skies out there right now. As we look at the big picture, I wanna show you that upper level low. Do you hear the kids? Everyone is having fun here. This is the best place. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. Okay, so the low tracks to the east. High pressure is building as we head into our Thursday, and it's gonna stick around for the close of the work week and heading into the weekend. High pressure, what is it? Okay, we get sinking air, friends, and that brings calm conditions, clear skies, and we typically see a warming trend, but air quality this time of year is really rough. So we have moderate air expected along the Wasatch Front for Box Elder County and for Tooele County as we head into tomorrow. We can expect that haze to build. Are you having hot chocolate? Nice. Oh my God, everyone's loving it. Check out the hot cocoa drinkers. Cheers to those guys. Temperatures in the upper 30s now in Provo, mid 30s in Cache Valley, 52 in St. George, and those 40s out there. As we get through the rest of tonight, we're gonna be falling into the 30s. Shocker, it's December. I mean, we know it's gonna get cold, it does. Future cast shows, really quiet conditions. We get a few clouds sneaking through, but really through the close of the work week. It's a bit of a slumber on the weather front, which, okay, Hello, December. We're not battling snow. We don't have freezing fog. We just have really festive activities and a lot of fun. Temperatures into tonight dropping into the 20s. I like to hang out near stroller parking because you get the cutest kids. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, listen, stroller parking is where I am these days. Tomorrow we'll see temperatures in the 40s. It's gonna be really nice. We've got folks walking through. Are you guys having fun? Yeah, yeah, everyone's a little shy, not me. Okay, as we look at the seven day here, you're gonna be able to see St. George has that warming trend, will be unseasonably warm as we get into the almost 60s. Gosh, that's not December-like. And then the Wasatch Front has a really quiet pattern too. So we're gonna actually see temperatures wanting to get into the 40s. Do they make it? Inversion is just so picky this time of year. Poor AJ, I'm not gonna stay still, AJ. You're gonna have to follow me. I'm not gonna climb this tree, but I thought about it maybe too many times. Everyone's in a good mood. I'm not coming back. The weather pattern is really quiet. So I hope that you can get out and enjoy. Tonight is a great night to come to Luminaria because those winds cleared air quality. The inversion layer has been a little paused. So we're breathing easy and we're loving every second of it. How can you not? 17 different themes, I'm in five. Listen, I don't know how much time you have, but I'm gonna be here for the rest of the night and I hope that you get to enjoy it with me. Hey, we know that this is a professional display, but we also know that you're doing great displays in your yard, Holiday Houses is going on, and we would love to hear from you. Emily, Brian, wouldn't we love to hear from them? Are you okay that I don't come back? I miss you guys, I do. Back to you.
This is the toss up. It's absolutely <laughs> pure lot. good TV to watch you out there, Alana. We should just do it the rest of the show. We watch her chase the kids around, you know?